Hello and welcome. This is Ken Heaston on air in the evening news. <clears throat> Tonight we're going to talk about the importance of using images on your blog and uh, how to use images to make your blog more attractive. You know, um, images are one of the most important things that you can do on your blog because people really like to look at images. You can put a lot of text on there, a lot of story, but a lot of times people get lost in that. So if you use images, it's a really great way to uh, uh, spice up your blog, make it more attractive, and also there's some things that people will do with images that they won't do with your regular content. So that's what we'll be going over tonight. Let's get started. Okay, let's just get started right here in the back of the house of uh, one of these blogs. This is the uh, Ugly Pie Cafe blog. And what we're going to do is let's just start out by making a new post. So let's click Add New over on the post, and uh, let's, um, let's just title the post Why images are so important <laughs> on your blog. All right, and um, so uh, this is where we're going to create a post. So uh, I'm just going to put in a, a little um, a title right here on the uh, down in the article body. Um, uh, the types of images. All right, and uh, now let's say that uh, I'm starting out this blog post, and uh, I'd like to uh, post this up to my Facebook fan page, and I want it to look nice with that nice big image. So um, uh, right here at the start of the article, uh, I can go in and I can, uh, you know. Uh, have my cursor where I want the image, so I'm going to click Add Media, and um, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to upload a picture that I would really like to uh, to share on Facebook. So I'm going to go with uh, Upload Files, and um, I'm going to take a look here at some of these images that I've got. Um, I've got uh, oh, just all kinds. Um, let's see, this one here is a little too big this one here I've already made it to the right size for uh, Facebook uh, 700 by 366 is what I kinda like to use um, so uh, let's just uh, decide well that's the image that we would like to use for this post so uh, I'm gonna take this and uh, I'm just gonna drag it right over into the image editor and uh, in my blog it loaded right up there now um, uh, the uh, the title of the uh, image right here is important for SEO because this will help you uh, rank um, your article uh, in Google. Uh, Google can't see images but they can see um, all the text that goes along with it. So uh, using your keywords in this title section is, uh, is pretty important. Whatever the keyword is for your article, if you want to try to rank it on SEO, use it here in the title of the, um, of the image. Uh, captions are really great too because people read captions of images better than they do the text in your article. So here on the caption I'm just going to put um, uh, images are important. Alright and uh, now alternate text also is important for uh, SEO because Google can read that. So um, for the alternate text, we're going to say um, uh, images in your blog. All right, and then in the description, uh, this is also something that Google can see. So in the description, you can write, you know, kind of a longer description about what your image is about. You know, uh, why images are so Im important uh, as a part of your blog article. All right, that's that's a good way to uh, attract more Google attention to your article. Now then you just come and look. Um, usually I like to center uh, a big picture like this. And then right here, uh, now you can either link now or later. But it, say if you want to link out to another different website of some kind, um, Let's just say, uh, let's just say for a moment, I've got Mark Harbert's blog open right here, and this is his uh, his page. There's say there's some reason I'd like to link out to Mark Harbert. I just highlight that, I copy it, and then um, 
I go over here and uh, I select custom URL and paste it right in there okay and I make sure that it's on full size 700 by 366 I have several options here and I'm going to insert that into the post okay now the way that I've done that it's already uh, in the post it's linked out to a website and it is um, uh, already um, ready to go in the article okay now um, this is a, a little strange part of um, uh, WordPress uh, I usually if I want to create a new line uh, I can't just click on here and do it so well so I go over to this text tab um, that is the uh, the HTML for the picture I just put in so I'm just going to put a little text right there okay and I'm going to go back to the visual and now I can see that and uh, now what I want to do is uh, I want to just put an article in here so let's just go find uh, some copy for an article um, let's get something I already have and just pop it in there and um, we'll just take this one right here and we will uh, um, let's just take from here down okay we're going to copy that now when you're uh, putting uh, article text in a blog it's a really good idea to use it out of a notepad editor if you try to take it out of word or off of another website you're going to get a lot of formatting in there and it really can make a mess of things so now I've just pasted some text in there and uh, we've got some more article now um, uh, some themes work better than others when it comes to putting in smaller images so let's just see what this theme does when we uh, get ready to put in a smaller image alright so first let's find one and create it let's go back over here and let's find an, uh, a, um, an image that we would like to use um, let's use this bat I kinda like him and that is 350 by 500 now that's a little bit bigger than I like to use width wise because of the fact that um, you know it's uh, it's uh, it takes up too much area and doesn't leave enough area for text so let's just convert that a little bit uh, let's go down here to paint and um, let's open and find that thing and we'll just change the size of it let's see let's go to uh, here and we will find that image and it was the bat where did he go um, right there it is let's open it up and we're just going to resize this to let's make it 250 alright and um, we'll resize that down a little bit and um, we're going to save it as a JPEG and uh, We'll put it back in here as um, <laughs> have that as bat two. Let's make it bat three. How about that? Okay. So now let's pick a place on our blog right here and let's just see how this acts. We're going to try to put it in the text right here and see if the text wraps around it nicely. So we'll uh, put our cursor where we want it. We're going to add media, upload files. Uh, let's go back to uh, this and there's bat 3 that we just made we'll drop it in there and um, now we could go through right now and we could uh, uh, change all this uh, as much as we want I do recommend a caption more than anything else because people read captions so well so um, let's just uh, put a caption in here bats are so cool alright and um, now let's put this uh, left aligned so it's going to be on the left side of the page and we won't link it right now and we want it full size 250 and let's insert it in the post and see what we get alright now that's what it looks like um, as we have uh, um, put it in there now let's see what it looks like uh, when it's published we have updated that post and let's go take a look and see if it looks right uh, when it's uh, when a viewer looks at it by uh, going view posts I'll open this link in another tab and let's take a look at the article there it is uh, that's what the article looks like 
Now, if you look at this, um, right here, it looks like the text is wrapped around it pretty nice, but when the reader sees it, it's not. It's broken the text, so we're just going to fix that. So let's, uh, let's find a way to fix that and see if we can make it all better. Well, it turns out that this is a theme problem when the text won't wrap around the picture right, and uh, there's a couple of things you can do about it. First of all, you can just change themes. Um, and most of the themes that you get uh, stock on WordPress, uh, you're not going to have this problem, but this happens to be a premium theme, and this is a little bit of a problem here. Um, and uh, I'm sure that you could search and find a plugin to fix this situation. However, I haven't been able to. I'm sure it's out there when a plugin, when I find a plugin that'll do this, I will uh, be sure and share it with you. But at any rate, what I did is I just do what I tell everybody to do. I started searching on Google. And uh, I, I came up here with a, uh, uh, a codex uh, on WordPress.org. And uh, it gave me, it says important theme code. And it says if this isn't included in your theme, then your uh, text won't align around an image. So it gave me the uh, code that I needed right here. And so I just copied this code and I copied it into a, um, I copied it into this uh, notepad right here. And I always like to uh, copy things into my WordPress blog from Notepad. And that way I don't have any uh, problems with, uh, you know, uh, errors coming off of uh, whatever the format might have been on the web page or the uh, document that I took it from. So I always put it through. Uh, uh, notepad first gets it into plain text but anyway here is the code right here and um, you could do something crazy like uh, look at this video and stop it and retype this all by hand uh, or you could just search for it and find it also but anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little piece of code right here and I am going to put it in my theme okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this code and I'm going to copy it alright and now right here now this uh, edit themes uh, this is the dashboard back of the house of your uh, WordPress blog and I've went under appearance um, editor right here alright and I went through uh, it's it says it's supposed to be in the style sheet which I'm in and I didn't find it anywhere so what I did is I put it in I found a, a spot where it talked about images some and uh, I just made a space for it and pasted it right in there and I update the file okay now so what I've done is I have put in the uh, theme uh, this code now this is a little tricky because it doesn't always work very well something may you know it may conflict with something in the theme and you may cause more trouble than you than you uh, <laughs> fix so you never know what happens when, when you go back and and go into the editor and do this but let's just see uh, I'm, this is the page the way it was and I made the changes in the theme so let's refresh okay and now what we have is a text wrapping around the uh, picture like we want it to be so now we've just fixed a thing uh, in our WordPress theme we've got our picture there and uh, it's all good now um, uh, one thing that I want to do now I haven't uh, put any kind of a link on this picture yet so let's go back into the uh, post and uh, we'll edit the um, the post let's go down here and let's uh, click on that and see uh, see it highlights it and now I can click that link and let's just go back over and we'll use Mark Harbert's link again this could be anywhere that you want to send somebody on the internet and we'll go in and we'll just paste it right there okay and we'll update now you can put a title and you can make it open in, uh, the link in a new tab if you like alright and you can update and now that link um, if we click it we'll go over to uh, Mark Harbert's website so let's test it out here let's refresh and let's click the link 
and it goes to Mark Harbert's website just like we like so that is uh, a way that you can uh, get a smaller image in your um, article and link it to an outbound website okay the last thing that we wanted to do here today with images is uh, we want to experiment with putting an image in the sidebar now this is real handy because uh, let's say that you have an offer that uh, you want to be on every post and page in your website maybe it goes over to your replicated website for your company or um, a video that you have that introduces you and your uh, business here's how we can do that uh, we're in the back of the house of our blog we're um, under appearance and we're under widgets okay we're going to click on widgets and this brings us over now what we see here is the main sidebar now different themes have different widget areas this one has this one the main sidebar alright if we go and look at the website itself that is this area right here now in a previous video we put this uh, uh, sign up um, form from Aweber right here in the sidebar so it's in the sidebar of every post and page and then we've got recent post archives and categories alright so let's go back over and look at it on the back side and we see search this is uh, the text widget where we put in our autoresponder uh, form we have recent posts archives and categories now let's say that we'd like to put an image over there that's clickable so it would go to uh, go over to uh, you know maybe a replicated website or something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this image widget and this is a plug-in that uh, let me just show you that before we move on uh, this is a plug-in that I installed okay I went and I searched for it I just typed in image widget right here you can add new on your plugins and I installed image widget okay now once that's installed then when you go under appearance and widgets it's going to show up right here in your widgets okay so we're going to take image widget now and we can put it anywhere we want but I think I'll put it right underneath my autoresponder right there okay and now let's select an image and I kinda like that bat image that we just had um, right there and um, so we're gonna insert that in there alright and uh, now uh, we have the image in there now we could put a title on it but I'm not going to on this one I don't want it to show up I just want to show the picture okay so uh, I'm not going to put an alternate text uh, I'm not even going to put a caption on it alright because um, I think for this particular thing what I'd normally do is I would make an image with a little button on it right here that says click here or something like that so I want them to click the image to go over to my replicated website okay now um, then what I can do is I'll put a link in here Let, let's just use mark again uh, here's markharbert.com alright we're going to copy that and uh, we'll go back over and that's the link we're going to put in right there we're going to paste that in and we can choose whether to stay in the window or open a new window full size alignment let's align it in the center because we don't know exactly we made this image uh, 250 pixels wide and we don't know exactly how it's going to um, look in our uh, in our sidebar yet um, just because of the fact we haven't used that this sidebar that much and we're going to save okay we got it saved let's just close that now and we can see that the image widget is right here in the main sidebar so now let's just go back over to our blog we'll refresh our page and now we we see our search our sign up form and our image is right here now this image really in a sidebar it should be something like um, you know uh, it should show something that's attractive as far as uh, your business is concerned and have maybe a little button right here uh, so people will naturally want to click it but let's just click the image and see what happens and it goes to our page that we put in okay so that's exactly what we want it to do we want it to go maybe to our replicated website uh, our products page one of our videos or something like that now this is going to show up in every post um, because it's in the sidebar okay now there are plugins that you can get you can search for these and you can choose uh, which uh, elements go in the sidebar for each post so you can switch them up you know you can have different images in different post sidebars 
uh, that's just a plug-in I have it on one of my blogs and I don't remember what the name of it is you can search for it and find it but um, but that's a really cool way to kind of change up what uh, what's happening on the sidebar with every time somebody loads a new post on your blog so that's a lot about images and how we might use them on our blog uh, how we load them how we put them where we want and we link them out to uh, other uh, areas that we want people to go to so this is Ken Heaston on air with the evening news it's been great to be with you and we'll close out this broadcast now tonight and we'll see you tomorrow